The Death Blow of Avenant, by Anonymous. The Death of Dagoff Frass, with explains by the sage Geocrates Varnus. Broken battlements and wrecked halls, where worship of the horror, one, once embraced, the bites of fifty winters, two, frost and wind, have cracked and pitted the unholy gates, and brought down the cruel obscene spire. All is dust, all is nothing more than dust. The blood has dried, and screams have echoed out. Framed by hills in the wildest forlorn place of Morrowind sits the barren bones of Avenanet. When thrice blessed Rangadil, free, first saw Avenanet, it burnished silver bright with power and permanence, a dreadful place with dreadful men to guard it, with fever glassed eyes and strength through the horror. Rangadil saw the foe's number was far greater than the few ordinators and buoyant armagers he led. Watching from the hills above, the field and castle of death while it stood, it damned the souls of the people of Morrowind. Accursed, iniquitous castle Abernanet, the alarum was sounded calling the holy warriors to battle, to answer villainy's shield with justice's spear, to steel themselves to fight at the front and be brave. Rangadil too grasped his shield and his thin ebon spear, and the clamor of battle began with a resounding crash. To shake the clouds down from the sky, the shield wall was smashed and blood staunched. The ground of the field, a battle like no other of Morrowind, to destroy the evil of Abernanet. The maniacal horde were skilled at arms for certs, but the free holy fists of mother, lord, and wizard, for hushed the monster's army back in charge after charge. Rangadil saw from above, urging the army to defend. Dagoff Frass, five, himself in his pernicious tower spire, and knew that only when the heart of evil was caught would the land ever be truly saved. He pledged then by the temple and the holy tribunal of Morrowind to take the tower of Avenanet. In a violent push, the tower base was pierced, but all efforts to fell the spire came to naught, as if all the strength of the horror held that one tower. The stairwell up was steep and so tight that two warriors could not ascend it side by side. So single file the army clambered up and up to take the tower room and end the reign of one of the cruelest petty tyrants in the annals of Morrowind, Dagoff Frass of Abernanet. They awaited a victory cry from the first to scale the tower, but silence only returned, and then the blood. First only a rivulet, and then a scarlet course poured down the steep stairwell, with the cry from above. Dagoff Rass is besting our army one by one. Rangadil called his army back, every ordinator and buoyant armager, and he himself ascended the stairs passing the bloody remains of the best warriors of Morrowind to the tower room of Abernanet. Like a raven of death on its airy, was Dagoff Frass, holding bloody shield and bloody blade at the tower room door. Every thrust of Rangadil's spear was blocked with ease. Every slash of Rangadil's blade was deflected away. Every blow of Rangadil's mace was met by the shield. Every quick arrow shot could find no purchase for the monster's greatest power was in his dread blessing, that no weapon from no warrior found in all of Morrowind could pass the shield of Abernanet. As hour passed hour, Rangadil came to understand how his greatest warriors met their end with Dagoff Frass, for he could exhaust them by blocking their attacks, and then, thus weakened, they were simply cut down. The villain was patient and skilled with the shield, and Rangadil felt even his own mighty arms growing numb, while Dagoff Frass anticipated and blocked each cut, and Rangadil feared that without the blessing of the divine free of Morrowind, he'd die in the Tower of Abernanet. But he still poured down blows as he yelled, Foe, I am Rangadil, a prince of the true temple. And I have fought in many a battle, and many a warrior has tried to stop my blade and has failed. Very few can anticipate which blow I am planning, and fewer, knowing that, know how to arrest the design, or have the strength to absorb all of my strikes. There is no greater master of shield-blocking in all of Morrowind 
than here in the castle of Ananet. My foe, Dark Lord Degofras, before you slay me, I beg you, tell me how you know how to block. Wickedly proud, Degofras heard Rangadil's plea and decided that before he gutted the temple champion, he would deign to give him some knowledge for the afterlife. How his instinct and reflexes worked, and as he started to explain, he realized that he did not know how he did it, and watched, puzzled, as Rangadil delivered what the tales of Morrowind called the death blow of Abernanit. Geocrates Varnus explains, 1. The Horror refers to the Daedra Prince Merun's Dagon. 2. Fifty Winters suggests that the epic was written fifty years after the Siege of Abernanit, which took place in Third Era 150. 3. Thrice Blessed Rangadil is Rangadil Kettle, born Second Era 803, died Third Era 195. He was the commander of the Temple Ordinators, and thrice blessed by being blessed by the Tribunal of Gods. 4. Mother, Lord, and Wizard refers to the Tribunal of Almalexia, Vivek, and Sophasil. 5. Degofras was a powerful Daedra worshipper of unknown origin who declared himself the heir of the Sixth House, though there is little evidence he descended from the vanished family.